Welcome to the Healthy Skin Show with Jennifer Fugo, where we're flipping everything you've been told about your chronic skin issues upside down and connecting you with alternative solutions your dermatologist never told you about. Welcome back to episode number 227 of the Healthy Skin Show. Are you the type of person who has grand plans to make a change that you believe will be good for your skin, but then you fall off the wagon after a couple of weeks, or maybe it's just a few days? Well, you're certainly not alone. A lot of people tell me that they struggle to stay consistent with doing the things that they should, be it using the right type of skincare, taking supplements, or even doing various self-care practices. Consistency is so important, which is why I wanted to devote this episode to share with you some tricks I've discovered over the years that can help. It can be a real challenge to stick to a plan or start new things, especially when old habits and even how motivated you feel may seem to get in your way. Now, the reality is that motivation is a muscle that takes around three months to build. Three months of consistent action, my friends. No wonder people who solely wait to become motivated rarely stick to things. I think it's a miscalculation to depend on feeling motivated to make and stick to changes. So let's dig a little deeper to help you get past the idea that in order to do anything different, you have to be motivated to make it happen. If you're someone who really can't seem to stay on the wagon or follow through with a change in your routine, the first step is to focus on breaking habitual patterns that will likely get in your way. While I certainly believe that mindset plays a role, as I've discussed in episode 226, I frankly think that it's a real challenge to will your way through changes. Mindset changes only get people so far. Action is truly important, which is why habits are key here. Habits are set patterns that allow your brain to go on autopilot so that it doesn't have to think its way through every moment of your day. It's essentially energy saver mode for your brain. Habits can be changed, but to do so requires some work on your part. I read about this process of understanding and harnessing the power of habits in an excellent book by Charles Duhigg. He discusses what are called habit loops, how habits don't rely on you to remember to do something and practical ways to make changes to your habit loops. I highly recommend the book or even the audio book is a great listen. For the sake of this short discussion, let's talk about an example of a habit loop in the context of something you probably can relate to, your morning routine. You don't necessarily have to think through every moment of your morning routine, right? You shut off your alarm, go to the bathroom, wash your face, turn on the coffee maker if you do that type of thing. You get dressed, make food, and then grab your car keys and bag before running out the door. You also likely drive the same way to work every day. Problems arise if you have to make or do something unusual, like start making a protein shake before work, or even drop something off at a place that's not on your usual route to work. We stick with the change of making the smoothie every single day. We remember the change of route so you can drop off that thing. My guess is that you'll make the protein shake for a few days before you're running late and then you completely stop because the one hiccup was enough to throw you back into your old pattern. And unless you put a sticky note or something specific to alert you that you have to make that stop on your route to work, you'll probably head straight to the office instead. To change or break a habit, something or some things have to change in your environment so that you can mold and shape the current habit you have into something based on what you consciously want. It may take time, but consistently breaking up the old habit will result in a new one that you don't need to think about nor feel motivated to do. The best and easiest ways to start changing your habits aren't complicated. Part of this involves being more present with what's going on rather than allowing your mental autopilot to take over. 
I'd argue that some of these steps are pretty darn simple, and I wanna share some personal examples of these tricks that you can try. First, set reminders in obvious places, on your calendar, in your phone, sticky notes on the mirror and the fridge, and maybe even in your car or at your desk. Second, make a noticeable change that breaks your habit. For example, if you need to remember to take your lunch or a breakfast protein shake that you made the night before with you to work, put your car keys next to them in the fridge and then put a sticky where the keys normally are so, you know, you don't freak out and can't find your keys. Third, review your new plan or habit at least once a day. So if you're starting a new plan, say a new skincare routine or a new supplement routine, print out the plan with the exact steps in the order that you need to take them and leave it where it's very obvious. So if you're gonna be making a protein shake and adding different supplements to it, put that list right there on the kitchen countertop. If you're gonna be doing a new skincare routine at night, put the list upstairs by your vanity. That way, as you wash your face and go through the steps, you know exactly which step to do when and you don't mess it up. Every time you go through the process, you can review the sheet and the steps to help pull your brain out of the autopilot mode so that you can focus on these new steps and create that new routine. Fourth, create accountability. You can do this by setting up new actions as appointments, like meeting with a trainer or a friend, something that you will take as seriously as a doctor's appointment that you wouldn't bail on. And lastly, Weekly or bi-weekly check-ins are really important to acknowledge your progress or to refine what you're doing if you're still not sticking to things. Rome wasn't built in a day, and you have to allow for failures and slip-ups, as well as to create the space to celebrate the small wins. Now, I'm not claiming to be an expert in changing habits, but focusing my energy on changing or making new habits has been a key to my own personal successes. It helps me focus on the practical and doable rather than getting stuck in wishes or dreams versus feeling like a failure for not making anything happen. If I can't follow through with shifting a habit, then it's a great opportunity to ask myself without judgment, what's messing me up so that I can then brainstorm new steps that I can test out. Because I've personally found how powerful habit loops are, I don't need to wait for the motivation to make a change right now. I use these skills to take small steps that truly do add up to some big changes that can easily be applied to so many facets in your life, including caring for your skin from the inside and outside. If you've got any questions or thoughts to share about this topic, head on over to skinterrupt.com forward slash 227 so we can keep the conversation going. Then share this episode with our community to help those who need a shift in how they approach making changes in their life and health so they can experience more successes in the year to come. And before you head off for your day, Take a moment to rate and review The Healthy Skin Show on your podcast platform. Then hit the subscribe button so you can tune in each week for new research, tips, strategies you probably haven't heard of before, and the inspiration that you need to help you on your journey to rebuild healthy skin. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.